Hello, my name is Carlos Ortiz, and today I will be reviewing the app for Android phones called Silver Edit. Silver Edit, you have two options in how to get it onto your phone. A, you can go to Android Zoom and look up Silver Edit. Here you will be provided with a QR code scanner code for a uh, for Android phone or if you don't have one of those you could just use your email address and they'll email one to your Android phone um, so Reddit could be either bought for five around five dollars US or 2.49 euros and you can also get a light version which is Silver Reddit light doesn't have as many functions but it's still very powerful the, um, application itself is a text editor but it has a little bit of extra things that you can use on it for instance FTP is one of them um, it does have the ability to save on your SD card and it'll, so you can create new files and save them onto your SD card you can also browse files on your SD card that you may want to um, even just maybe just other text files that you might want to make into an HTML file you can check recent things that you've worked on and since it is on your SD card, you can actually work on your computer, save it, and then you can open it up through this little interface right here. Um, secondly, one thing that I think is very important is the amount of little presets they have for different languages, especially for me, obviously, HTML and CSS. Um, recently, I have been trying to learn PHP, so it's kind of nice to, when I get ideas, I could just whip out my phone wherever I am without needing a computer to, um, you know, try some things out and then... Um, the down part to it is your phone doesn't have PHP unless you somehow install it. So to preview the PHP items, you do have to, um, I usually end up saving them and then later on putting them on my computer or uploading it through the FTP to my own private server with my domain so I can preview the PHP code that I'm working on. But all in all, yeah, there is, there is a decent amount of... Um, web development toolkits that you got so you can easily edit on the fly if somebody did ask you to change something quickly um, it is very feasible I wouldn't say obviously to write your whole website or in you know, a whole page with this but any edits quick edits this would be very easy to work on or even if you just get ideas like I said before just to try to implement them and see how they come out cool part about Silver Edit is that it does have a little tag icon so you can just make quick tags you don't have to worry about writing title all the time or head or whatever but it also does have your open close brackets whether you, for quick things like maybe a, um, a line break or something like that you do have a color wheel so you don't have to go worrying about just typing simple red black white or even having to look up in a secondary application that would have the, sex, the hexadecimal code for them for the color so that's very helpful there you can save right away from the on-screen save to the SD you can find and replace with different files you can also preview right away this is um, obviously just a interface for the saving um, just shows that you can save your text CSS PHP files then um, you do have the um, option actually let's go back to this because it is very easy to organize your files. You don't have to go back and forth trying to open new folders or guessing where everything is. It is um, very easy to follow your organization. So you can click on your folder, it opens the files, you can create new folders, you can actually duplicate files too. And this is the FTP directory. Just keep in mind that you, this is to connect. Over here you have your server option, so that's where you would type in your FTP address and stuff like that. And quickly, by pressing this button, you can connect and disconnect very, very quickly. Would say it does. It is very data intensive if you do keep on using this, or especially if you have a page that has uh, pictures or things like that. Maybe you do want to upload a picture to your server. I would highly recommend trying to stop by a place that does have Wi-Fi or something like that, as it would work a lot faster and less chance of losing connection while you're uploading. So that is my review on the Android app Silver Edit. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe even think about downloading this app as it is very useful and it's maybe not so much for writing full websites but it is very useful as for for quick learning ideas and trying things out so thank you very much